On the night of 11th March, a UAV crashed near the capital of Croatia, Zagreb, which was identified as a Soviet reconnaissance drone Tu-141 Swift, also called the VR-2. According to some reports, it was launched from the zone of the Russian-Ukrainian armed conflict. However, nobody died. It is still unclear who launched it and for what purpose and also why the NATO surveillance systems did not notice such a large aircraft. The 6-ton Tu-141 Sturge reconnaissance drone had a serious malfunction and crossed all of Hungary and parts of Romania until it reached Croatia. A direct flight from the Ukrainian border to Zagreb is almost 350 miles. The Soviet-made Tu-141 Sturz drone flew over the airspace of three NATO member countries at a speed of 700 km per hour at an altitude of 1300 meters without being noticed by NATO radars. However, Ukraine is the only known operator of the Tu-141 drones worldwide, but a former Ukrainian ambassador to Croatia said that the drone is not Ukrainian. On the other hand, Russia said that it had shot down a similar drone in Crimea and was launched by Ukraine. Russia has decommissioned this last Swifts in early 2000s. A retired Croatian military pilot Ivan Selek in an interview with the local channel suggested that the drone fell due to the fact that it ran out of fuel. It flew a thousand kilometers and surprisingly it was not picked up by radar. In the airspace of Croatia, the plane was eight to nine minutes and flew over Hungary even longer. He says that the UAV flew about 1300 kilometers and the Hungarians did not notice it. The UAV flew at a higher altitude and the RCS is also not small. He also added that NATO was responsible for detecting, raising the alarm and interception as the radars in Hungary, Croatia and other places are directly linked to the command post at Torrejon Air Base in Spain.